Tate's office. Um, <laughs> I was calling about the request you were made yesterday. <laughs> what request? Some uh, I was t- you were wanting a, a copy of judges' oaths or something like that. Yeah, well, the election board. You, see, that's what's re- you're Chris Powell, okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, the Arkansas government, with the way Asa Hutchins running stuff, um, I've already confronted him numerous years with that little deal of the beatdown by the Crawford County Sheriff's Office. We're going to make this real interesting when I put in my civil rights lawsuit. Now, with that, I need the oath of office for the governor, which I explained to the election board, and they assured me that they were going to send, and I need the oath of office for Every judge in Arkansas, too, because they sign these oaths for a reason. You understand that, Chris? Yeah, yeah, I understand. You understand that once I accept those oaths and I put my signature to them, they now become felony crimes against the Constitution. Do you understand that? It's written in statutes. I'm not real sure what you're referring to. Okay, Uh, well, either way, when when I do my lawsuit, that'll all be disseminated. But the simple fact of the matter is, in Arkansas, under the Freedom of Information Act, I'm entitled to those records, and I want them. Okay, uh, that's fine. I just got kind of partial information from our elections department, so that's why I was calling to follow up with you, just for some clarification on what exactly you wanted, and and some additional contacts, because all I have is a phone number. Yes, uh, yeah, I can give you my email address, and you can do like you all, you did before. You sent me all the legislators. I have theirs, and I appreciate that. Oh, did did we really? Okay. Yes, yes. It's been a while. Well, well, government can only circumvent so much shit until you piss off citizens enough to the point that I'm at to where I'm going to show you that it's not the legislators who rule this state. It's the citizens. That's a simple fact. Uh, What is your email address? is S C H I L D T C O R E Y at Gmail dot com. Okay, Shilt Corey at at where? Gmail dot com. Gmail dot com. Okay. Yes, sir. Um okay. And is there a certain type of, of, of judges you're wanting the oaths for? Or no, I want them all. I them? want them all. Everyone who's marked on your registry that's employed by the taxpayer in this state, I want his oath. Okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to clarify because that may be kind of time-consuming, so just bear with us on that. I'll well, I understand that, and I understand that you don't have to comply with the set. No, I'm not saying we're not complying. I'm just saying I have to talk to our folks. I don't know if they have to, if they can just put together a, if they already have digital copies or if we have to scan all those or what. So I just, I just, uh. Well, if you had to scan them all together this time, that would make it more efficient for next time. Anyway, uh, I just needed your email address and all, and uh, just to clarify what you were wanting, because, uh, like I said, I didn't, I didn't get the, all of that information yesterday. So. Okay, and most definitely, I want Asa Hutchinson's oath of office. Also. Uh, oh, by any chance, now, um, does Leslie Rudley, excuse me? Here's one question. Uh, now, when you say judges, are you, like, do you mean also, like, county judges, or are you wanting, like, all the judicial system judges? Uh, district court judges, circuit court judges, Supreme Court of Arkansas judges, all judges. If they're a magistrate, okay. justice of the peace, and they sign an oath of office, I want it. And she tried to disseminate to me yesterday, Chris, no offense, that uh, there could be a fee attached. Well, actually, since I already know you have the capability to send it through email and you sent me as much information as you did on the legislators. Yeah, I don't, I don't usually charge people. Uh, we can, but we don't usually. And we're sending electronically, you know. Exactly. She, Thank you. She told me that. She, she said, I think I told him there might be a fee, but yeah, so, you know. Don't yeah, I'm familiar it. with the law too, sir. Yeah, no, I know. She, uh, she, 
we t- I talked to whoever you spoke to yesterday, and we, we cleared that up. So. Um, Appreciate it. Okay, and uh, from this point on, to let you know, Chris, hey, Chris, one more thing. From this point on, to let you know, you are speaking to my attorney. So when people okay. come up and they say, I got to get an attorney for information that I want at that time, and it has to also do with a redress of grievance, we're not going to play that bullshit card no more. I am the attorney, just to clarify that. Okay. Um, did you say Leslie Rutledge also? Yes, her also. And as a matter of fact, your Arkansas Judicial Review Board, if they sign any oaths, I want their names. The government documents, so so do I. I will uh, see what uh, um, I will get with our folks and see uh, you know, how uh, we can get this moved forward. I appreciate and I'll let that. You know if there's uh, an update on as far as the time time frame or whatever, but uh, I'll try to. Uh, yeah, I would hope it could be within under uh, ten days, considering that FOIA only gives you all seventy-two hours. No, I understand. Like I say, I just don't know how our files are set up uh, down the hall. So um, we will do uh, do what we can. That's awesome. It's uh, going to be a learning experience. That's for sure. All right. Well, uh, take care and thanks for taking my call. Okay. You have a blessed day, sir. So how you doing, Mike? 